What's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here and today we're going to take a look at the NECA Toys Alien Snake Alien. So uh, I basically just picked this up because I was like, wow, that looks cool. That looks very, very neat. I love the paint job. It just kind of pops. Um, it basically just comes in a clamshell and it even comes with a little Dark Horse comic book included. So that's pretty cool. I'm guessing this is a throwback to maybe some kind of old aliens um, retro because he, he's not shown on the back uh, anywhere within the line but um, of course this is obviously part of the aliens line we've got aliens up here but it's got that kind of like old retro -y NECA thing but uh, this is the snake alien with attack jaw and constricting tail so it's going to be interesting to pop him out and see how he uh, is supposed to stand but yeah, packaging is just basically the bubble. On the back, you got, you know, all the other lines. Of course, on the bottom, it does show you some credits. So, you know, shout out to them people over at NECA. Killing it with the alien stuff, the predator stuff. But yeah, let's get them out of the packaging and take a closer look. Okay, so here is the snake alien out of the packaging. And let me tell you, this thing is actually pretty damn cool. It surprises you how huge it is. Um... And this is nifty. We get this little kind of small, dark comic. So this is very cool. You know, it's got a few pages on it. Got some pretty cool artwork on it. More or less just going through, I guess, the character and the time. This has to be retro, I'm guessing. Just from the way this looks. But this is very neat. Just go through this with everybody real quick. Very cool. Neat, neat, neat. So yeah, very cool. This is uh, number nine. This is a uh, snake alien, night strike alien. It's a very cool, so little comic included. That's pretty nifty. Now, let's get into this thing. So this snake alien is, um, again, the main reason why I picked it up is just because when I saw it on the shelf, I was like, wow, I just really like the paint and I like the sculpt on it. So that's what we're gonna talk about. But then once you get it out of packaging, you're like, oh my god, look how huge this thing is. Look how massively huge this thing is. It is crazy, crazy huge. But I do like the fact that, because uh, that was my kind of um, thought when I first saw it. I was like, how the hell are you going to get it to stand up? But uh, the tail definitely can be kind of you know, bent around and manipulated. <laughs> to where it can kind of like stand up. But um, let's just get in close and just take a look at some of this nice paintwork that they did with this guy. Now starting with the head, as you can see they did a really nice job with the paint. I love this kind of like kind of orangey bronzy color we get on the top of the head there. That's very nice, done very well. And then on the side we get some greens. Just, there's just colors everywhere. There's purple, silver, green, dark green, black. Um, orange, you know, dark orange. Very, very cool shading all throughout the sky. Of course, we get the nice silver for the teeth and the inner jaw. Um, that's a cool little feature. And then we have all these little arms that are on ball joints. So that's neat. So these, like, come out. And you can kind of see, like, the inner skeleton working of it, which is pretty cool. Nice scalp. One, one of my, this one right here, yeah, this one's messed up. The ball joint, unfortunately, is just kind of like uh, broken, so it doesn't really want to stay in there well. Pop that back in there. But as you can see, you can like open it up and you get this really gnarly looking, you know, inner skeleton work of it with this nice neon green work. And of course, coming down the tail, we have more just great colors all throughout. It's very, very thick, but it's kind of like got that, you know, rubbery material to it. And it is very, very bendable. I mean, you can bend this thing all kinds of which way around. I mean, you can really get nice movement out of that all around. So it's uh, amazing what this thing can do as far as bending. I mean, you can literally twist it all the way around. But I really like the coloring and the, the shading all throughout it. Of course, pretty much the back of it is kind of like this um, really nice kind of like orange with a nice wash in it. Oops, sorry about that. Very orange color with a nice wash in it. The back of the head and everything in that, of course, follows, uh, you know, the tail all the way down. 
to the very tip of it, which then kind of turns into this nice purple uh, sh shading within this black. And then the un underside of the tail has this green that, of course, follows all the way up to the, you know, of course, inner workings here of the actual snake alien. So, yeah, very cool. So, of course, all these little parts right here are on ball hinges so they can you know move up they can actually rotate so that's really cool i love these purple you get the purple spikes here on these so each one of these so all of these you can uh bend and rotate and then we have this kind of um feature here where you can pull the mouth out so that's cool so that pops out like that and then on top of that you get another little ball joint on these little kind of fangs at the top here that you can also rotate around and again we get some really cool paint on that I love the purple on that it looks great uh, it's a little bit loose unfortunately but I mean it extends out quite a bit out to there and then um does this come out does he yeah yeah look at that even the inner jaw comes out even more so that is just so freaking cool that's awesome it's really really neat and there is a hinge at the mouth here as well so you can even close it having all that out open it a lot of options a lot of options so you can put that inner mouth back in and collapse everything back into itself and then close the mouth but as you can see they did a great job with the uh you know teeth and all up in there with the the he's a little he's a little lopsided there with his jaw but again these you know, have ball joints so they can fold in and out, rotate all the way around, um, you know, move up and down, so that's pretty neat. Then, of course, we have, you know, the, the head of it and everything. Just a pretty cool looking piece, I will say. Now, um, as far as articulation, as, you, as I said, you know, each one of these little kind of arms that are coming off of his skeleton torso, this is all very hard plastic right here. Um, all of this is very hard plastic. Of course, you get the little ball hinges, so you get, you know, full swivel. You do get forward and back out of that and kind of like all around. So there, there is a hinge in there, so you kind of get a lot of movement within each individual one of those. Uh, again, I talked about the fangs up here. You have ball joints as well, so they kind of, you know, move all the way around and they hinge. So you can hinge them all the way in like that. Of course, you saw the uh, mechanism of, of this, or the, um, this pulling out the mouth pulling out there is a hinge on the jaw so it also also allows for a hinge action there the entire head um, is basically just connected with uh, you know a swivel hinge so the entire neck swivels and then it will hinge down about that much and it will hinge back about that much so it's all done at the neck and then of course this tail. I mean this tail is ridiculous. It's so huge and long but yet is like you know you can bend it just so crazy the amount of uh, you know movement you can get out of this tail and it doesn't look like it but this is all very very soft plastic and then it kind of gets a little bit harder under on the underside but all this up here as you can see is very very soft plastic. But um yeah, so I guess you might be able to kind of finagle. Oh, there, all, there also is a swivel here too, um, you know, at his, I technically, I guess his waist. Um, so yeah, this thing is just really, really cool. I will say these are kind of fragile. As you see, I got one that like just won't, doesn't want to cooperate with me. It keeps popping out. So I will say these are a little bit on the fragile side. Um, the mouth uh, gimmick is very, very loose on mine anyway. But it's still neat, you know, that it's there and it gives you some pretty cool little crazy options. But yeah, this tail is just really, really neat and it will support the figure for the most part. Um, you know, I found the best way is just to kind of twirl it around so it'll kind of like stand up on its own. Or at least give it some balance to stand up. But uh, let me just give you a measurement on how big this thing actually is now. If I can try to straighten this out all the way. And I'm going to lean him up against the backdrop here if I can. See, that's the one thing, like, 
He's kind of hard to just get standing up like this with his tail out because there's so much going on up here. So it's kind of hard to get him to like stand straight straight up like this. That's what I kind of wanted him to do in the beginning. But um, yeah, it just doesn't really want to work. But let me just show you how long this is. So I mean, just from the bottom right here to the tip of his tail, that's 13 inches. And again, like I said, you can bend this forward. And if we were to get an entire uh, shot of this guy from head back to the tip of his tail, you're looking at about 20 inches. And I mean, I didn't even really have it straight, so it might even be even a little bit longer than that. Yeah, this thing is just like ridiculously cool. It is just so freaking awesome looking. Uh, again, let me get this. It's crazy how the, the, the tail bends too. Because you don't think it would bend the way it does, but it does. It definitely bends all around. Um, again, you get the swivel there. Of course, now I can't get get him back into a kind of standing up position here. Let me see. There we go. All right. So him standing up just like this, he is about, you know, nine and a half inches. And just for some comparisons, we'll bring out some predator figures to stand next to him. So you can see he's going to look good up on your shelf with your Predator figures. And here's a Xenomorph, just to give you another little size comparison. Of course, he's hunched down. This is the blown up version. But yeah, very cool. I will say I love the paint detail on this guy. I love the sculpt. Um, I love the, you know, kind of uh, playability that it has with this gimmick with the mouth coming out and all the different options that's pretty cool so yeah that this this is a look at the NECA snake aliens or snake snake alien from uh, the aliens line I'm guessing this is a retro line you know let me know in the comments below it has to be because um just the way that it seems to look but yeah there's a uh, quite a little bit of posability with this guy again more or less he's just gonna be a awesome badass looking alien for your um you know alien and predator shelf and it does come with a little comic as well a uh, little pr little pricey he was like 27 bucks i found him at um target but he just looks gnarly he's gonna look great up against your other you know predator figures uh alien figures and all that fun stuff but yeah guys that was a look at the NECA aliens snake alien with attack jaw and constricting tail very cool figure um definitely awesome but yeah thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell notification all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys really soon on the next figure review